Today we're gonna to talk about checking our mirrors. If we were going to make a right turn or a right lane change, we would check mirror, mirror, blind spot, and back. And the idea is even when you're checking your blind spot, your left eye is ready to notice any change in the hazards ahead of you. Hey, this is Jacqueline, and I get to be your driving teacher today. Today we're gonna to talk about checking our mirrors. From this position, you're going to look up at the rear view mirror, the left mirror, and the side mirror with the slightest movement possible of your head. So make sure that your seated position is really comfortable so that when you position your mirrors, you can just slightly glance in different directions. That's a good time to talk about when do we check our mirrors. When we're driving forward, our obligation is to keep track of everything ahead of us. And so again, we're looking forward, but we also wanna make sure we have an understanding of what's coming up from behind. That's what our rear view mirror is for. I want you to think about your rear view mirror as your best friend. When you're driving and looking forward with just the blink of an eye and a stretch of your right eye, you can look up to the rear view mirror and back to the road. I think it's a good idea to check your rear view mirror about every four seconds. The guideline is every two to five seconds. So why not do it to a musical beat? You can look straight ahead, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. When I'm on a residential two lane road, I'm really focusing straight ahead primarily. So I just check my rear view mirror every four seconds or so. I would wanna know if there was a cyclist coming or even if there was a fast car coming up from behind, I would wanna know because I would want to try to give myself some extra room from the car ahead of me to compensate. And we'll look for something like that when we're out on the road. Right now I can see in my rear view mirror that the car behind me is pretty close. So when I come to a stop behind this car, now the light turned, I won't have to stop, but you can see I was giving a little bit of extra room because I want to have a bubble of safety around my car, in the front of the car and the back of the car. If you're studying for your permit or learning to drive, I recommend that you check out Zootobi.com. They have an amazing app with tons of DMV practice tests to help prepare you for your permit test. It goes through everything you need to know in detail and has hundreds of illustrations to make it easier to understand and remember the information. With more than 100,000 ratings, Zootobi is one of the most widely used driver's ed resources in the U.S. and a must-have for learners. Check it out and see for yourself. And now we're on a three-lane road. And so in this case, I can check my right and left mirrors as well as my rear view mirror to see which cars are coming on the side. If there was a motorcycle that was going to come along and split the lanes, I would want to know. I use the rear view mirror to check out the car behind me. I can actually see the driver and the passenger. So if they wanted to send me any messages like, I want to get around you or your gas tank is open, I would be able to see them. Usually when I'm driving straight, it's just the rear view mirror that I need to track. I only check the side mirrors when there's something that's going to come and pass me. And I wanna make sure I keep track of them, again, because I don't want them to just disappear in my blind spot and for me to forget that they might be there. So by tracking in the mirror, I know what's coming from behind and what's eventually going to be on the side of me and beyond me in a minute. It's a good idea to check your right and left mirror every now and then too. Some people say about every 10 seconds, but imagine doing it in this pattern. One, two, three, four, and back. One, two, three, four, and back. And just make it a pattern to check your mirrors, the right and left, every now and then with your rear view mirror. 
I can see in my rear view mirror that the right lane is super crowded. I look in the right mirror and I see a whole line of cars. There's a barrier to the left, so I hardly look in the left mirror at all while I'm here because I wouldn't really be looking at anything except the bushes. So that's another thing about checking your mirrors. You wanna make sure that you're checking your mirrors to see where your hazards might be. So if there aren't gonna be any hazards on the left side, then you would focus your attention on the rear view mirror and the right mirror. Because anytime you take your eye off the road, you're sort of putting yourself at risk. So you wanna make sure that you're not wildly looking around all the time at the mirrors. Instead, you want to be super focused and strategic. Another thing we think about with our mirrors is lane changes. And so I want to talk about what a lane change is. If you move from a parking lane into the driving lane, it's a lane change. And you have to check your mirrors and your blind spot before you move over to make sure no one's coming. So in addition to just using your mirrors to track vehicles coming from behind, you also have to use your mirrors to track the approximate speed of the vehicle. So when you check your mirror, you're tracking and you wanna make sure that when you make your lane change, you wouldn't intersect with a vehicle. If it's really far away and moving slowly, you could make your lane change and enter into the lane after you check your mirrors. If it's moving really fast, and you'll be able to tell, you'll be able to see visually the car getting closer at a pace that you'll be able to tell they're moving fast. Then you would let them pass and then make your lane change. It's really important that you learn the pattern for checking your mirrors when you're making a right or left lane change because it's something that you have to do really quickly. So let's practice this pattern up close. When you're making a left lane change, you check your rear view mirror, side mirror, and blind spot, and back to the road. Mirror, mirror, blind spot, and back. Mirror, mirror, blind spot, back. I'm using the rear view mirror to monitor the cars behind me. We're all moving forward at a fast pace because we're getting on the freeway. I'm using the rear view mirror, the left mirror, and the blind spot to assess the safety of the lane to the left. And I'm watching in my left mirror so I can see this car that came up fast and is passing me on the left. And I'm thinking about making a left lane change, but I follow my rule. I have to be able to see the headlights of the car in my rear view mirror. Then I put on my signal, mirror blind spot, and then I go. And by checking my mirror before I initiate the lane change, I make sure it's a good idea. I don't even put my signal on until I've checked the mirror. Because if it's a bad idea and there's a fast row of moving cars to the left, then I'm not gonna make a lane change. So why put on my signal and scare people? A right turn is also a lane change. If you're making a right turn, you are making a lane change from your driving lane over the bike lane and often a parking lane, then across the pedestrian crossing, the sidewalk. So it's really important that you remember that a right turn requires a lane change and scanning the mirrors, and of course the blind spot, to make sure that you will not intersect with anything when you make that right turn. Let's practice checking the right mirror. Um, if we were going to make a right turn or a right lane change, we would check mirror, mirror, blind spot, and back mirror, mirror, blind spot, and back. And the idea is even when you're checking your blind spot, your left eye is ready to notice any change in the hazards ahead of you. I'm thinking about a right lane change. So I look in the rear view mirror, I can see both headlights. I follow up. So we have using lane changes for parking so that you can, or pardon me, using mirrors for parking so that you can back into spaces. We have using mirrors to monitor the traffic behind you. And we have using mirrors to make lane changes to make sure that there's no one next to you so that you can change lanes. 
And the important part about all of that is making sure that you are seated properly, that your mirrors are positioned properly, and that you stay steady and use your eyes and don't move your body around too much. We're gonna practice just a little bit using mirrors to exit and then re-enter a parked space because that's something that you're gonna to have to do on your driving test. Remember that when you make a lane change from a parked space into the parking, into the driving lane, it counts as a lane change. So we check rear view mirror, signal, mirror, blind spot, and then we go. Really important use of your mirrors. To park, we check rear view mirror, turn signal, mirror, blind spot, and then we pull over and park parallel to the curb. That's an important part of passing your driving test and an important part of using your mirrors because you never want to accidentally miss a cyclist when you're pulling into a parking lane or pulling out of a parking lane. Of course cars too, but cyclists are the easiest to miss. Thank you for checking in today and refreshing or building your skills around checking your mirrors. I hope that you have an idea of what to look for when you're setting your mirrors. I hope you have a pattern in mind. For example, every four seconds, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I hope that you will do eye stretches to make sure that you can check your mirrors without taking your eye off the road for more than a blink of an eye. Keep practicing, have good safe practices, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot, bye.